night. I love that he mentioned that. That is very nice. You guys are so awesome. Thanks for coming out. This is amazing. What an amazing night. I just want to give a quick hand to all these ladies who came up here. That was, oh my God. I think I'm a lesbian now. This is pretty amazing. I am, I am newly single, ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen, newly single. That's right. So I'm pretty sure you know what that means, right? That means I'm having a lot of sex uh, with myself lately. And um, I'm pretty good at it. I don't want to brag or anything, but this is like 1500 RPM right here. This is pretty zing. I don't know why I do stand up. I should have been a DJ because I'm like, waka, 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 waka. I've been doing that for years, man. I got mad skills, yo. Waka, waka. Anyway. Um, so I was uh, driving in my car on the way over here and a funny thought occurred to me. I was thinking about, um, well, I know I'm gonna have to have sex eventually, again, soon, and it, things have changed, you know? I was uh, you know, with someone for like five years, that's a long time to be out of commission, right? I mean, I, I was having some sex, but anyway. Uh, <laughs> but it's different now with the porn and everything, and guys, you know, you want, you want attention in, in that, uh, in your balls, right? You want that, you want that whole thing. That's a whole other, thing that we gotta do, right? You gotta clean them up too, by the way. But you gotta clean them up. I, I don't wanna, like, it shouldn't look like a spider coming at my head is my point. Like, is that a tarantula or your, anyway. So, but guys want that. And then we don't know what to do uh, as women. You gotta tell us, cause after this, uh, then what is next, right? There's this. You know, I love that everybody in this room knows exactly what I'm talking about. Cause, it's international symbol for nut cupping, right there. That's what that is. That's. <laughs> then there's that that space in between, which is called the um, taint, sir. That is correct. You get the door prize, the taint. Or then there's other words. There's another word for it. Anybody yell it out? To... Chode. That's right, chode. You know what? Somebody uh, mentioned that, and then someone else corrected that person and said, no, chode is actually a penis that is as wide as it is long. I was like, what the fuck? Is that a mini Coke can? What the hell does that even look like? I don't, I've never seen one of those. But uh, then there's, uh, there's choda, there's uh, chode, there's uh, gooch. Gooch, yes, that's correct. Is there anyone here from another country? Anyone here from another country? Because... Oh, you are, where are you from, sir? You're from England? What do you call the taint in England, sir? Educate us. The gooch. The gooch, oh, so you do call it there. Okay, that's good. So we're, you know, we're getting, we're catching up with you. I love that British accent, by the way. Women, we love that accent, don't we? That could be a fake accent, it's still working for you. You're gonna get laid out here by me later. And um, <laughs> we do, because you know, if a guy has like that accent, they can get away with a lot, can't they? Like regular guys can't get away with saying certain things that a guy with a British accent can't. Let's be honest, like, um, perhaps you would like to, um, Suck my cock. Sounds like polite all of a sudden. I, was, I wasn't thinking about it, but I guess I will now. That sounds, okay. I don't want to be impolite, sure. But. It's amazing. But then there's that area. I asked this uh, one night, because I, I think about these things, and uh, there was a guy from India. I go, what do you call it in India? And he goes, oh, uh, well, we call it the uh, tate. That's the name for tate there. Tate. And he did that with his hand. I don't know if that's necessary, if you have to tate. What a great word though, like I can't stop saying, I say it for no reason, da -da, yeah. Da -da. Actually, we should start something later, we should go to the craps table, every time we go to roll the dice, da -da, just do that shit. <laughs> then there'll just be one random Indian dude that'll walk by, I can't believe they're talking about my taint, what the hell is going on here talking about, what is going on, I can't believe. <laughs> be our own little inside joke, right? And, uh, yeah, I, I love the fact that this is supposed to be probably appropriate, but that's not gonna happen here. Uh, he was talking about that, anyone want a ram or a Jeep? I want a ram and a Jeep later. Can I get that? Can anyone? No, the taint. I, I love to hear like different cultures. So I asked this uh, question one night, a woman from Ireland. I go, what do you call it there? She goes, um, she goes, oh, well, we call it the bars. I go, why is that? She goes, well, it's between the bottles and the arse. That's fucking <laughs> hilarious. I asked a guy from Israel what you call the taint in that language, and uh, he goes, oh, we call it the shua. That's really, if you're from there, you know, shua. I, that's so stealthy of you guys, right? You just show it to the lady, and she goes, shua. You already got her to agree. Look at that. You, are, you already got her in there. You're so smart. <laughs> then there was a guy, I think it's from, uh, he, it was a Middle Eastern country. I don't know, they all blend for me, but uh, it, the word was, he said, achuch. That was an actual word. He goes, achuch. That's the most appropriate of all, isn't it? Because... 
that's the sound the woman makes when she's down there. I can't believe he talked me into this shit. Uh, it's true. And then there was, uh, there was one more I thought was interesting. This one woman, she goes, uh, well, I call it the nacho. I go, well, nacho, what? you're not even Hispanic. Why would you call it? She goes, because it's nacho balls and it's nacho ass. <laughs> Duly noted. Duly noted. Well, I stay up late a lot. I watch a lot of uh, late night television and I catch myself watching the Home Shopping Channel like all the time. I'm obsessed with it. So I want to do an impression of every QVC lady I think I've ever seen, but I need something to borrow. Miss, can I borrow your, your bag? Fantastic. What is your name? Amy. Okay, so this is every QVC lady I think I've ever seen. I'm looking for something to... Okay, great. Um, this is... <sighs> One of my favorite items, item J9-9357. Can we get another camera angle on that at the back, please, Steve? Yeah. <laughs> now, look what I noticed in the studio. Look at the way that the light just cascades off of that gorgeous hardware. Isn't that eye-catching? It's mesmerizing. J9-9357, I know what you're wondering. How do you get that kind of value for that price? I know. It's amazing. We have these handcrafted by a small family in Indonesia. Yeah, and they'll work for a peanut butter sandwich and a Mentos, and then we pass those savings on to you. Shane and I, 357, I want you to notice something. Take a look at what I'm doing here. Take a look. Pay attention. Hands free. Hands free. Take a look. Isn't it amazing? This strap, by the way, that's included. You're not even paying for that. You're getting that strap for free. It's adjustable in size, which is good. I wish my husband's stool was like that. <laughs> All right, come on. I love the fact that you can fit so many things in this bag. I just want to take a look at some of the things we can fit in this bag. If we'd okay, go ahead. Let's take a look. A lot of stuff in a little bag. We have tissue. That's good to have. You never know if you got to pull over, you know, and there's no rest stop. All right, so that's good to have. J99357, we've got a lipstick. <laughs> We've got a makeup bag. We're going to take a look at that, too. Hey, you know what I love about this? You, sometimes you want something casual. Sometimes you want, bam, look at that. you got a whole other bag. <laughs> Two bags for the price of one. We have, let's see, what's that? we got a condom in there. That's good. Hey, it's good that you're safe. We've got tea bags. Look at just, I, I always think of a different thing when I think of tea bags, but... We got tea bags. You know, you just never know if you need some sugar packets or some tea bags. Let's say you don't want sugar in there. You just want a pack of honey. That's good to have. There's honey in the bag. You can fit snacks. You can fit a lip gloss. You can fit more honey. Take a look at that. Let's say if you don't want to run out of honey, there's a third one. Look at that. There's a third honey. <laughs> lip balm. That's good. Let's see. What do we got in there? What's a... Gosh, there's a lot of, you know, it's good to have this little for your floss and for your teeth, you know. You're going to go out, have some ribs. You got to have this. Jane and I, 357, you can fit it in this bag and more. Let's keep looking. All right. Does it end? No, it doesn't. Okay, what is this? Some kind of ointment. I hope that, I hope it clears up, whatever it is. So good. I'll put that back. I should use some kind of sana good thing this sanitizer's there. I'll tell you that right now. I use some of that. We've got a bag of just random pills. You know, it doesn't matter. I don't care what kind of pill it is. I'm going to take it. I'm in Vegas. That's right. <laughs> J99357. This a, what's that? A rape whistle? Okay, that's good to have. That's Okay, we got more lip gloss. And we got lip gloss in here. We got a lip balm. We got a lip gloss. And with a lip balm over here. I love this. These are great, by the way. I love these glasses. Take a look here. I'm going to just set them. Now, look at the way they have scientifically manipulated that plastic so that it stays steadfast. That is steadfast around your ear. That is, uh, these are coming up later in the show, Jana 9647. And take a look at this. I'm, I'm trying to get them to come. They won't. Look at that. I could do this all day. I could, that's amazing. J99357. What else do we have in here? We got a hand rolled cigarette. Is that what that? Are you a cowgirl? Is that what you are, Amy? That's. Guess it goes with the pills. All right. Okay, J99357. Let's go ahead. I think we got to measure something. I do. I am curious. I have to see. I can't stop it. I got to see what's in this bag over here. 
And uh, you know, we gotta measure something on this show. It's the law, but first, let's just see. And yep. That's a lot of cards. I just want to show you something. If you buy this bag, you have room for a lot of cards. Take a look. You could owe everyone and still have space in your bag for your debt cards there. Isn't that good? J99357. Let's go ahead and measure that. That's a good size. You see that? Zoom in, Steve. That's about uh, six inches or eight and a half, according to my husband, Stu. <laughs> Thank you so much. Give her a hand. Thank you guys so very much. <laughs> Got it? <laughs> Thank you! Shame everybody!